When it comes to the economic precipice in Europe, Belarus is even closer to the edge than Greece. An emergency loan means the former Soviet Republic can finally catch its breath for a few weeks, but it's evident the policies of the president, Alexander Lukashenko, have all but run the economy into the ground. From the capital Minsk, the ABC's Norman Hermont reports. This is what an economic meltdown looks like. Images posted online show what happened in Belarus when its currency went into a free fall. People scrambling into stores to buy anything they could. At the peak of the frenzy, imported goods like sugar disappeared from supermarkets in seconds. Belarus has been borrowing heavily for years. This was when time ran out. A family can go bankrupt, likewise a country can also go bankrupt, and people suffer, enterprises suffer. <laughs> Belarus's currency has lost half its value in just a few months. News reports are full of stories of products that have been cleaned out. For pensioners, it's a disaster. Nikolai Pietrushenka's pension has barely budged from $240 a month, despite an inflation rate that could hit 50 percent this year. To say it's tough, that's too little. We didn't just fall down to the bottom. We retired people realized that even the bottom had sagged. All of this is happening behind a facade of order and cleanliness. For years, Belarus has used loans and subsidies from Russia to keep up appearances and to prop up huge state industries. The government has negotiated a lifeline loan to see it through the northern summer. After then, the crash could start again. Alexander Lukashenko has held on to power in Belarus with a grand bargain of sorts. He's kept wages low and steady, but he's kept the economy stable. Many here believe if the economy goes, He'll go with it. Norman Hermont, ABC News, Minsk.